Hey guys, welcome back to a another video. So, uh, the new Pokemon games are actually coming out pretty soon. They're, oh, it's, it's less than a month now, guys, and it is going by so quick. And a lot of people have been putting up their teams for these games, and so I thought we would do the same. We did that for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I thought, why not go back and do it again, especially for something as fun as the Sinnoh remakes, which I am so excited about. Pokemon Pearl was the first game I ever played, and I cannot wait to jump back in. It's so fun. The Sinnoh region was such a good region, in my opinion, and I cannot wait to jump back in with all the new features and old ones uh, that I have missed seeing, like the underground um, but this video is going to be strictly listing my team or my plan team for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, I am going to get both games. I actually have already pre-ordered the double pack, but um, the main game I will be playing is, of course, Shining Pearl. And so we're going to go through my team for that game specifically. Um, for Brilliant Diamond, it will probably change maybe just a little bit, but not much. Um, so of course we go to the first Pokemon on the team, which is the starter Pokemon. Now the starter is kind of a hard choice for me because I really love both Chimchar and Piplub. Piplub was actually the first Pokemon I ever chose. And my dog loves Piplub so much. She has her own stuffed animal. But I'm going to go with Chimchar. Reason being, I have loved using Infernape it, since I started using it. I... I normally used Empoleon for a long time, but then I tried, I, st I started switching it up, I used Chimchar, and it has been, Infernape is just such an amazing Pokemon, I love using it, it's so much fun to use, and I'm a really, I feel like if I were a gym leader, I'd be a fire type gym leader, because most regions I go into, I pick the fire type starter, except for a few, I think there's three that I pick a water type starter, but the rest are all fire types. So I have to go with my buddy Infernape here. He is my starter for Shining Pearl. Uh, now the next few members are um, pretty obvious, I think for most people. Uh, the next member that we're probably gonna end up catching next would be a Starly, which would end up being Star Raptor. Uh, Star Raptor is the regional bird of the center region and it's honestly my favorite regional bird there is. It's so cool. It can learn close combat later on, which I think is a great move for it to have. And it's just honestly a really good Pokemon in my opinion. I love using it and I just, I can't go through this game and not have Staraptor on my team. I just can't. Now the next member of my team also is going to be on those early routes and that will be, end up being a Luxray. Uh, Luxray is honestly one of my Honestly, one of my favorite electric Pokemon to use. I think if I were making a team out of all Pokemon, like if I had a dominant team out of like any Pokemon from any region, if I went through them all, I feel like Luxray would be on that team. Now, Pikachu is my favorite electric Pokemon ever, but he's not really the one. He's not going to cut it in some battles. He just can't take the hits unless you're using the Let's Go Pikachu, which is not in this game. So... But I really enjoy using Luxray, and he's gonna be a lot better than he was in the original games, because he learns more moves now. Back when Diamond and Pearl first came out, it took forever just to learn Spark, and it was terrible back then. But now he learns a lot more moves, and I can't wait to use him a little more, because I haven't really used him on a team um, since he's gotten those new moves. I used him back in Platinum, but that was a while ago. It's a lot different now, so I am excited to see what else you can do with him now that he's got a broader move pool and a lot more things that he can learn. Plus he can, I mean, Platinum, they added him learning Spark much quicker, so that made it even better. But there's a few new moves, like Wild Charge, that he can learn as well. Um, but I'm excited to just use him again because I love electric types and Luxray is a really cool one. I wish he got... Luxray is one of those I wish he would have a Mega Evolution. I really wish he would. And they haven't said anything about it yet, but I don't think they're going to give him, give any Mega Evolutions in this game. But that would be one that like if they were going to, they would have to give him a Mega Evolution. Like They would just have to. Now the next member on my team will be Garchomp. Now, when I first played the Sinnoh games, I did not 
actually use a Garchomp. I didn't have a dragon on my team. I had other Pokemon. That's what I used. Well, I had a dragon on my team, but we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> um, but I just, I never used Garchomp. But then Garchomp really grew on me, and I'll tell you why. Garchomp was the one Pokemon that allowed me to finally beat my brother all those years ago when we would battle. We had both, he had Diamond, I had Pearl, and we would just battle it out. And every time he won, reason being, he had a very powerful Salamance, and I had nothing to counter it. And he had powered that thing up, and I could not beat it. I could not beat it. Hi, you, you want to you wanna talk too? Hi. <laughs> but I couldn't beat this Salamance. I tried so hard every time, and I got so close, never beat it. Until I decided to go a different route. I went searching in the game, and I f decided I was going to get me a Garchomp. I was going to get a Dragon-type to counter his Dragon-type, because back then, there were no Fairy-types. You either countered it with an Ice-type or a Dragon-type. That's what you did. But then I, when I got my Garchomp, I battled him again. And I'll tell you, Garchomp did not win against Salamance. But he got him just low enough to where I still had Infernape left. Infernape came in, outsped it, and defeated it with a close combat. He got him just low enough for that, and I finally won. And Garchomp is now, to this day, he has to be on that team. Like, I cannot go through this game and not include Garchomp. I just can't. So Garchomp is going to be on this team. I don't care how hard he is to get. I know he's the dragon of the region, like that big dragon, but I am getting him. He's going on the team. Now, the next member of my team, this is member number five, and this one's kind of a toss-up. I haven't really decided 100% which one I want to use. Um, but this one is between Glaceon and Lucario. Very different Pokemon, honestly. Um, and both obtainable... Lucario you can obtain on the... Oh, what's it called? It's that island. I forget what it's called. It's been so long. Um, but you obtain him as a Riolu egg, you hatch the egg, and then you can evolve him later. So it would take a lot of training up. But the thing is, so would Glaceon, because you can't evolve Glaceon unless they add a new way to do it. You cannot evolve Glaceon until you're on your way to Snowpoint City, which is the seventh gym. So that, both of them are kind of late game, so I'm not exactly sure which one I want to do. Hello. <laughs> Hi. You, you want to talk about Pokemon? Are you mad? Because I'm not picking Piplup. She's mad. <laughs> She's mad. She's mad. Are you mad? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Hug. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so cute. Uh, but yeah, they're both kind of obtainable late game. You get the Eevee about heart and about heart home, I believe, unless they change it. But, you can't, again, you can't really evolve it, so you don't really want to train it up too much because you'll miss some moves. And Lucario would be an, a repeat of a fighting type, which makes me lean a little bit more towards Glaceon. Plus, I've used Lucario a lot more recently. Um, but then again, I love Lucario, so it's kind of hard. He's one of my favorite Pokemon, so it's very hard for me to pass up using a Lucario. But then there's, I love Glaceon as well. The evolutions are just so fun, and I love the Ice-type one. She's... Honestly, Glaceon is one of my favorite evolutions as well, so it's very hard. Hello. <laughs> you just want to be in the video. You just want to be in the video. <laughs> Are you saying pick Glaceon? <laughs> Na get a Glaceon, name it Shasta. <laughs> right. Right. Since I'm not getting Piplup. Go get yours. You want to show the camera your Piplup? You want to show everybody your Piplup? Go get your Piplup. There's the Piplup. This is Shasta's. This is Shasta's pay club. Ready? 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 Ah. You didn't get it. Um, but yeah, that fifth member will be a toss-up, though, between those two, because I'm not 100% sure who I'm going to use. Uh, again, leaning a little more towards Glaceon for that ice typing, but also Lucario would have the steel typing, which would be very handy against fairy types, which I'm pretty sure aren't in the game. So that would be... It's, it's a very hard decision. I might just have them both and end up switching them out. You never know. But yeah, those, those two are kind of, I'm still iffy on. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but we'll see. 
Now, the final member, which I'm sure a lot of people saw coming, <laughs> is Palkia. Now, for those who have watched my videos for a while, my live streams, they know Palkia is my favorite legendary to this date. I have a horse in Star Stable that I named after Palkia. I have a Palkia stuffed animal, Pearl. It was the first legendary, really, I ever caught. And it has stuck with me this long. It's been that long, because I the first game I played was Pearl. Caught Palkia, and I loved him. Still do. Can't cannot get enough of using Palkia. He is just awesome. I love using it. I know more people like Dialga better, but Palkia will always be my top legendary, and I cannot go through this game. Hello. That's that's the mic. <laughs> um, but I cannot go through this game without Palkia. Palkia is just such a cool legendary, in my opinion, and I I cannot go through this game without using it. I haven't used legendaries on teams um, in the normal games in actually quite a while. But for this one, I can't I can't not do it. Palkia is going on the team 100%. So there you have it, guys. That will be my team for Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond as well with a few tweaks, probably. Um, so let me know what you guys think, um, what you what you guys are planning to use in those on those games. Uh, what Pokemon you're excited to see, as well as what features you're excited for. I can't wait for these games. I'm so excited to see the new stuff. Plus, I honestly really like the style of them, too. They're, it's a different style that you haven't seen in Pokemon yet, but it still holds true to the old games, and I kind of like that. I can't wait to go back through Memory Road like that, with also some new features as well. If you haven't already, please, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. I make fun content as often as I possibly can, and I also go live quite a lot. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be made aware of those videos. And yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.